Hey friends, Clayton Phillips here again from Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. And uh, I am all fired up here at the dealership today um, because we have gotten the very first triple load. We got three of these bad boys here the, uh, the other day and we've brought one in our showroom. This is the all new, I think we got the first load into Canada to be honest with you. Um, but this is the all new Rove Light by Travel Light RV. Um, this is an extremely exciting product. It fits a weight category that is very difficult for manufacturers to get to. Um, and Travel Light has done a phenomenal job in doing so without sacrificing the quality of the product, uh, which is very, it's a fine line that manufacturers walk trying to get the weight down. Um, and usually it's a balance between cost and weight. Um, you know, a lot of times manufacturers aren't willing to invest the dollars into products like composite materials, all aluminum chassis, those sorts of things to really help get the weight down without sacrificing the quality of the product. Um, Travel Light wasn't afraid of that. And this is what drew us to this particular product. I wouldn't call this a conventional built trailer in terms of size and scope, but if you are somebody that has a vehicle that's only rated to pull 2,500 pounds, this particular trailer is a perfect fit. And the segment that this trailer competes against would be more your fold down market, like tent trailers, um, your A-frame trailers, the rooftops that fold up and down, um, you know, even some of your teardrop models and those sorts of things. But I think Travel Light has done a phenomenal job in balancing uh, the cost of the trailer to the quality of the trailer and investing in materials that help save weight without sacrificing the quality and structure of the product. So we're gonna jump into it. One of the things that's really unique about this product and help what helps get the weight down is this has an all aluminum chassis. Now the gauge of thickness of aluminum alloy that they're using on this chassis is very, very thick, but it's substantially lighter weight than what you would get with the steel chassis. The other benefit to it is that you're not gonna have to worry about rust, corrosion, um, those sorts of things that you get with a steel chassis, having to crawl underneath with a creeper and a can of spray paint to help, you know, keep the, keep it, you know, your chassis of your trailer painted because the steel chassis do rust as we know. Um, one of the things that I did was that I optioned in the, uh, the stabilizer jacks. So on a shorter footprint like this, you've got five points of stabilization all the way around the trailer, creating a very, very stable uh, platform for you to camp in this product. So this is the 14 FL model. They have three different um, three different models available. Uh, the other two that we got were the same model and that's the 14 BH. So it actually has a, a, a rear bunk uh, bunk bed setup that's really, really cool. Um, but again, jumping back into the build of this particular product, um, there is no wood substrate uh, or Luon paneling within the structure of the trailer. So the floor, the walls, the roof, they use Asdale, all composite material, block foam insulation, all aluminum framing within the superstructure of the trailer, fully welded together, creating a very, very lightweight but strong package uh, for your product uh, or for this particular trailer. Uh, the floor uses a, a honeycomb design in the composite uh, flooring, again, makes it very, very structurally sound, but very, very lightweight. Uh, laminated sidewall, now what's really cool about this product is they didn't hold back. They still used that Lamalux uh, heavy gel coat on the sidewall, so it's gonna have the same gel coat finish that our you know, $130,000 Solitude has. Uh, which is really, really nice. Um, the other cool thing about this product is it doesn't have your conventional roof construction. Um, the fiberglass skin itself, there's far less seams on this trailer for moisture intrusion and those sorts of things. Um, so right from the bottom part of your trailer here up front, all the way wrapping down the roof line and back down the rear wall is one continuous piece of gel coat fiberglass. Okay, so you don't have to worry about roof chalking that you get with a rubber roof. Uh, there's less 
seams going across the side of your trailer. So, you know, far less maintenance and those sorts of things that you're going to have to deal with with a conventional trailer, uh, which is which is really, really nice. So a um, couple of the weights and measures are, you know, to give you a little deeper detail on the trailer from that side of it. The length of this trailer from the coupler to the rear wall, folks, is 16 feet, six inches. What I love about this trailer, folks, is that if you have a, you know, two car garage, um, the height of this trailer is eight feet, one inch to the highest part of the roof. So if your garage door is higher than eight feet one, the width of the trailer, so the, the body width is actually a little narrower than the axle goes. So it actually creates a really nice stable platform, wide stance for towability, but you can see how that, you've got that wheel flare there with your tire. So from outside wheel flare to outside wheel flare, um, you've got seven feet, 11 inches. So if you've got a garage door that's wider than seven feet, 11 inches and taller than eight feet one, and you've got a parking spot in your garage that's longer than 16 and a half feet, you could park this trailer right in your driveway. You know, if you've got a heated garage, a heated shop, you could tuck this in the corner. When we backed this into our showroom, the hitch weight's only 200 pounds. So we used this dolly right here, just hooked onto it. And literally I, by myself, pushed it right through this door here, backed it in, turned and uh, put it right into the parking spot in one shot. Super, super easy. You could easily put a wheel on the front of your electric jack, which is optional. I loaded this trailer up, put every option I possibly could on it. Uh, you could put a wheel on that front jack and literally push it around uh, where you need it to go. So if you're not that great at backing trailers up or you know, you're a little uneasy about doing those sorts of things, you can literally unhook the trailer and push it into its spot uh, if you wanted to. So we'll come down this side of the trailer here. So you do have the uh, solar hookup here as well. So if you wanted to do the suitcase style solar panel, you can definitely do that. All LED lighting around the outside of the trailer. Your marker lights are LED um, everywhere. All the lights on this trailer are LED inside and out. It does have the outside shower, on demand hot water heater, continuous hot water. So smaller tank, but higher boiling point will heat it very, very quickly. That way you're gonna conserve your, your hot water as you're using the, uh, the trailer, maybe having a shower inside, those sorts of things. But really nice profile, very radius design. Awesome setup. Now your air conditioner is right there. So that's one thing that helps bring that lower profile down. One of the best things folks though, is the dry weight. The dry weight on this trailer as it sits is 1,000. 838 pounds that's unbelievable you know you look at a lot of your a-frame type trailers built by most of your manufacturers you know they're up over 2,000 pounds you know because they're using steel chassis you know they've got wood substrates in the wall those sorts of things which adds to the weight of the trailer uh, but with this particular product it does not fold down you get a bathroom you get a full kitchen you get a bigger fridge you get holding tanks you get a full regular awning you know you look at a lot of your a-frame products out there and fold downs and those sorts of things and your teardrop style trailers a lot of times they don't even come with awnings folks this one has a full uh, it's just under 10 feet long power awning fully adjustable you can pull down on the arms to help give you more shade coverage or to divert the water off the awning if it's raining those sorts of things like this is a travel trailer at an extremely lightweight package in a very well put together construction which is really really nice um, right up here you do have a storage compartment so pack your goodies you know it's 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 a decent size for sure in a smaller trailer folks you're gonna have to store some stuff on the floor inside no different than an a-frame or a lot of your fold downs and those sorts of things um, does have the uh, alloy wheel there 13 inch so real nice look great big window like check out the size of that window outdoor speakers above LED light again so it's absolutely fantastic you know unlike a fold down trailer which in a lot of cases are heavier you know they may or may not have bathrooms in them depending on the floor plan well this one if you're traveling from point a to point b you want to head out to Kelowna and you just want to stop off the side of the road and use your toilet you just open up the door and go in and do it you're not having to fold the trailer up to get it done so real cool setup again this is the 14 fl by travel light rv 
So in the front of this trailer, you have a full gaucho style fold down bed. One thing I love, I gave this feedback to Travelite. I love the cushions they're using. It is a very nice, you know, very good quality foam. The material is a real thick plush, um, you know, more of a, an ultra leather with some really nice piping design on it. These cushions are some of the nicest cushions I've seen in a travel trailer in a long time. It's very well lit, very bright, very modern contemporary design. Um, you pull basically these pins down up right here and you just pull this back and it drops down into the bed position. You could in theory have it down in the bed position. You could have it permanently set up as your main bed without having to fold it up and down if you so choose. You do get the, uh, the nightshades here as well. But look at the wood paneling design on the inside. Very smart, very nice design. Um, and then you've got your dinette. This will fold down into a secondary bed if you so choose. But check out the size of the window. You know, that's where a lot of products, you know, to save weight, they take structure out and they put smaller windows in because they can't support a big window. These guys, the way they've designed it, the laminated walls, aluminum superstructure, all composite materials, no wood substrate, allows them to put in a larger window, full open as well. So you could mount a TV to the back wall there if you so choose. Behind that door is a bathroom and I'll shoot in on it. It's a, a cassette style bathroom, so much smaller, but you still get the toilet, the shower, uh, and all the space, but great storage. You know, to help save on weight, they do these uh, little drop down netting, that sort of thing to be able to hold all your, your personal effects. But, you know, pantry style storage here. Could add a couple, a couple extra shelves here if you so choose. Again, they're going for weight on this, but all storage up underneath here. Single basin stink, sink, range. That'll run out right off your propane tank. Uh, this is a three cubic foot Everchill 12 volt electric fridge. So you can take it anywhere and use it. You know, the good set of batteries on the front of the trailer. I would encourage you to add solar, but great counter space too in a little trailer, like 16 and a half feet and you got that much counter space is fantastic. So 20,000 BTU furnace. So I'm just gonna sit down here and again, shoot around. And there's your side mounted air, air conditioner up there by your pantry. Uh, max fan. So for those folks that, you know, if you're dry camping, boondock camp and what have you, and you don't want to run your air conditioner or can't, uh, they do give you the max fan here to really help move the, the air out of the trailer, help keep you cooler, bring it in, bring it out, that sort of thing. So, and then your bathroom. It's a little guy, but uh, really bright open. There's a shower curtain that goes around. Um, toilet shower, very, very uh, common type shower that you'd find in a lot of smaller you know, truck campers and things of that nature. So nice base in there helps drain. So awesome setup in this new Rove Light 14 FL by Travel Light RV. Again, you'll notice they don't put the step on, fold in and out step. I got that from our parts department. I'm including it uh, with all of our Rove Lights. For you. real nice cool you know again modern contemporary uh, graphics package on the rove light as well so awesome little trailer love to have you come by our dealership in Leduc to check this out and uh, love to take you on a tour we cover all segments for all tow vehicles now uh, by having this particular travel trailer uh, in our inventory lineup so again, if you've got a tow vehicle that's only rated to pull 2,500 pounds, 3,000 pounds, but you wanna go camping without having to change out your tow vehicle, this one will allow you to do it. So again, they do build a bunk model, the BH version with the front dinette, and then they build a front dinette version, rear entry um, model as well. So again, here's a little, little action of our dealership here at Woody's RV in Leduc. Love this place, so blessed to be able to come and work here every day and uh, introduce RVers of all sorts to the RV industry and all the wonderful things it can do for your family. So anyway, my name's Clayton Phillips. We're at Woody's RV World in Leduc. Our phone number is 780-986-1234. Showing off the all new Rove Light by Travel Light RV. Love to host you to our dealership. 
In the meantime, take care, stay safe, be healthy, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.